Today's video is brought to you by MacPot and Clean My Mac X, which cleans tons of junk, making your computer run faster. Hey, it's Chris, and welcome to another episode of Unbelievably Useful. This is a Mac Apps episode with a focus on productivity. This is gonna be a good one, I promise. There's a couple things in here that are some of the coolest things I've ever featured yet in this series. Now, in case you don't catch something, like the name of something, don't know how to spell it, or whatever, I'm gonna link up everything down below. So make sure to go check out the description at some point while you're watching. And also, I'm gonna include some timestamps because I realize that not every app is going to apply to every person. So make sure to go check those out down in the description too so you can tune in to exactly what interests you. All right, we're gonna jump right in. The first thing that I wanna mention is something called Swish. Now, this is cool. I think this might be possibly my favorite thing I've ever featured, ever, on this series of Mac Apps videos. What is it? Well, I've mentioned several different things that could help you manage your Windows on your Mac. And you know, some of them have been pretty decent. I've liked some, some are better than others. This is the king of them all. This one, this Windows management utility puts everything else to shame because it's so innovative, simple, easy, and almost fun to use. Swish calls itself the missing gesture layer for Mac OS, and this is brilliant. So how it works is you can control apps and windows using your Mac's trackpad or your magic mouse with swipe, pinch, tap, and hold gestures. So for instance, hovering over the toolbar of an app that you wanna minimize and just swiping down with two fingers will minimize it. And then if you wanna maximize it, you can go to that app's icon in your dock and do a two finger swipe up and it's maximized. Even cooler is that you can snap windows all over the place in a two by two grid or a two by three grid. So do you want an app to take up half the screen? Well, two finger swipe left or right. Want to maximize a window? That's just a simple swipe up. Well, option, double tap that toolbar. And I love how you can even send a minimized app to take up half the screen by swiping on it while it's in the dock. It's in the dock and then you swipe on that icon in the dock and it whooshes over and takes up the right or left of the screen. It's so cool. This app can do a lot. There's no way I'm gonna sit here telling you all about it, but these gestures are awesome, they're intuitive, I've really enjoyed using them, and I can definitely tell you, this can speed up your workflow by a significant amount. Now, it does cost a couple of bucks, but there is a free trial, and I would highly recommend everybody watching this to at least try that free trial and just see how it works for you. I think you're gonna love it. I'm really excited about it. Swish! All right, the next thing that I wanna tell you about is remove.bg for the Mac. Here's something else that just blows me away in terms of how much time it can save me and just how well it works. So I don't care who you are. If you're a YouTuber and you're making thumbnails or if you're just a business person and you need a good profile picture or avatar shot or whatever for LinkedIn or maybe you have an online store and you show a bunch of products and you need to cut out the background, whatever you do, you're going to need to at some point remove the background from some of your photos. And ooh, do I got an app for you. So remove.bg will remove the background from any image for you automatically in just five seconds with just one click. It's super clean, it works really, really well, and it works really good on hair, surprisingly good. So you could just upload an image to remove.bg, the website, and do everything you need to there. Or you could download the Photoshop plugin, and that works really cool too. Or if you're a Mac user, you can just grab the Mac app, which is basically a folder that you can open and drag and drop stuff into for batch processing of background removal. I love this, like seriously, if I got 10 photos over here and I wanna remove the background from all of them, maybe one is a face and one is a car and they're all separate things, it doesn't matter. I can just highlight all those, drag them on over into this folder, drop and click one button and it will remove the background of all of them. Now seriously, I highly recommend this app for how well it works and how easy it is to use, but I will say it's a little bit pricey. So you can get a subscription if you know you're gonna use this a lot. Maybe you work at an agency or you're kind of a freelancer or you have an online shop like I mentioned. If you're gonna use it a lot, maybe subscription makes sense. But I've just kind of been using it on the pay-as-you-go model. So for like nine bucks, you can do 10 photos, for instance. That's not too bad. I mean, there is a free account, but 
the output photos that it gives you, the final product, are so small that they basically know it's not usable. So you kind of have to upgrade to get the good stuff. Let me tell you next about OneSwitch, which is a really simple app that lives in your menu bar on your Mac that just conveniently places a bunch of different settings that you might wanna access at any given time in one really convenient, helpful place. So if you wanna hide the desktop icons, one switch. If you wanna toggle dark mode really quick, one switch. Let's say you wanna force your Mac to stay awake or connect your AirPods really quickly, and yeah, I've covered a bunch of different ways to do that in previous episodes, I know. Or toggle do not disturb, or the screensaver, or true tone, or night shift. All of that stuff is here in one switch. One switch is $5, but look, here's what's really cool. If you pay for this, you're getting something beyond just the app. You're helping to fund continued development. If you go on the website, you can see what's coming up in the product pipeline. And I noticed that in autumn, I think, is coming the option to add your own custom switches. Like put whatever you want in one switch. That is gonna be very, very useful. Now here's something that I think just about everybody who has a job is going to like. It's an app called Crisp, and what it does is get rid of background sounds and noises in your meetings and phone calls when you're on your Mac. Like, I've never been one to like go to Starbucks, for instance, and just sit there and have a meeting because it seems like it's just too loud and cluttered. It wouldn't be nice for the people that are on the other end of the line, I feel like. Much less, it'd be hard for me to hear, right? Especially, I see people using like AirPods without the noise canceling, whatever. This app is perfect for these people that go there and have these meetings at Starbucks because with the flip of a switch, you can get rid of all the ambient noise that might be bothering and distracting the people that you're meeting with. So if there's a barking dog in the back, yap, 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 you can just flip a switch and that dog is muted. Simple, easy. But what's really cool is that if you want to mute the background sounds of the person or people that you're talking to, that's an option as well, which means no more meeting with somebody who's like chewing away at an apple or something crunchy. You don't have to listen to those crunches and chews anymore if you don't want to. Choose not to hear the chew. So this works with Slack and it works with join.me and Skype and Google Hangouts and lots more. Basically, everything that you're ever gonna wanna use. Now there's a free tier so you can get in there and check this out, see if it actually works, if it's right for you. And there's also a premium tier that's $10 a month so if it's something that you're really gonna wanna use a lot, maybe you're a remote worker, that's not too bad. Now, I also wanna talk about a different option called Mutify, which is kind of along the same lines as the last app, but what it does is give you a really simple way to mute your microphone. Now, this is just a $5 one-time charge, and that's all it actually does, mute your mic. It doesn't work with AI or anything fancy like that. It's just a simple, easy way to access a mute button with a shortcut in your touch bar because maybe you don't wanna pay an ongoing subscription. You just want this one-time fee. Well, this is for you. It does have one kind of cool extra feature that I do just wanna mention really briefly, and that's if you mute yourself, maybe the mic on your Mac, and then you put in some AirPods, it's smart enough to detect those and keep you muted even though there's a new mic source. Clocky is the next app that I wanna to talk to you guys about, and this is spelled with a bunch of Ks, not the way that you would think. Make sure to check out the description if you're confused because uh, it's all linked up down there. Don't forget, I don't want these comments like, why didn't you put it all on the screen? Like, ah, it's down in the description. Go check it out. I don't know if you guys know this. I used to be a freelance designer for a short period of time in my life. And keeping track of your hours of when you worked on stuff, it's like a pain in the butt. So Clocky solves this by automatically tracking your tasks for you. This is a big breakthrough. And the way that it does that is using actions and triggers that you can set up for the stuff that you're gonna do. So for instance, when you start working in Photoshop or Sketch or whatever it is, there's several different things that work with this, it automatically starts tracking your time. You don't have to do it yourself. You don't have to click the button that you started or click the button that you ended and whoops, you forgot and it messes up your client billing or whatever. This solves all of that. Okay, this next thing I saved here towards the end because it's kind of the mother load and it's not actually an app itself, but instead it's a directory of over 200 
menu bar apps for your Mac, which is more than I'm ever gonna feature on this series. So I figured I might as well just give you this source that you can go, somebody rounded everything up, put all these different menu bar apps into collections so it's nice and sorted and organized. So if you wanna find some audio apps or some battery apps or some calendar apps or display apps or productivity, you get the picture. It's all nice and organized and super easy to find. Well, I guess I should actually mention the name, huh? It's called Mac Menu Bar and I'll link it up down in the description. In just a second, I'm gonna let you guys know about an app that can help your computer be more productive and earn some extra money for you when you're not being productive on it. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor. Clean My Mac X replaces dozens of optimization tools with one sleek interface. It provides a Mac OS cleaner, a performance monitor, a malware remover, and more. And it lets you get rid of junk like unneeded files or outdated caches or broken downloads, logs, or other clutter that frees up gigabytes in just a short period of time. You can also optimize your Mac's performance by freeing up RAM, running maintenance scripts, and managing login items. Why can't all apps look this good? Seriously, this thing looks really nice. So protect your privacy, fully remove unwanted apps, and lots more. Download Clean My Mac X today using the link down in the description. All right, you crazy people that actually stick around to the end of YouTube videos. This last app here is just for you. This is something called Honey Miner, and what it is is a way for your computer to use its excess CPU and GPU power to mine cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, when you're not using it. So when you're actually done being productive, your computer can still be productive for you. So when you're done with work, what you could do is fire up Honey Miner and let it work all night, for instance, which can earn you some extra Bitcoin because you're not using the CPU and GPU at 12 at night, right? It's anonymous, it's encrypted, and no, you're not gonna get rich, but maybe over the course of a year, you could earn like enough for a nice little vacation or a getaway or something, or a new Apple product, or some Apple accessories from MySlicedApple.com, for instance. Either way, something I found very interesting that's definitely worth a look. Well, hey, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, everything's linked up in the description. You can follow at Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K, -K, on Instagram and Twitter. I've got tons of awesome content coming up related to all the betas. I've only put my iPad OS early review out so far. I got iOS, I got tvOS, I got CarPlay, lots more. Watch, Watch OS 6, I think. It's all coming out. So make sure you subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Later.